Alright, I have my goggles on, and I'm ready to play. My name is Sloth154, and welcome back to Time Loader. Have you ever wanted to undo an incident in your past? Have you ever ignored the fact that time travel usually ends up ending badly for the entire part of the world? This game is for you. So, we are playing as this little robot who is trying to undo the incident that caused his creator to be in a wheelchair. As you can see, we got a jump. All right, there we go. As you can see, this little robot can do a lot, but it- that robot arm. It must be an ancestor of mine. But Adam hasn't finished it yet. Adam is going to end up not himself if you succeed at what you're doing. Yeah, so all this is so that his creator, Adam, can uh, avoid the incident that caused him to lose the use of his legs. Which was falling out of a treehouse, which I still say was just negligence on the part of the builder. Uh -oh. oh, I can jump on this. Yes, okay. That worked. Nope, I can't. I am trying to find secrets and that's all good. Oh, yeah. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. I have a link to the playlist for this series and other games I played on my channel. I'll even link the one that I never finished because I would have lost my mind. That screwdriver's coming in handy. Into the vents. Oh, no, that has a grade on it. But yeah, like I was saying, the incident that caused Adam to, you know, be in a wheelchair is because someone built his treehouse without a railing. A good railing. What the? Yeah, bird poop. <laughs> that, that did right. My gamer instincts are on point this time. Shuttlecock. More bird poop. Oh, it's a bird's nest. Let's steal some eggs. I'm doing small things that are helping this kid's future. It's also me uh, just messing around because I don't know how else to speak about this. Ooh, get the ball, get the ball. Can I get the ball? Let me get the ball. Come on, come on. Aha. Another secret sign? Oh. I don't know why, but I kind of like them. I can't take the ball with me past this point. We need oh. to turn the fan off, or we'll never get outside. How can we reach the button? Don't we have a super jump? Ah. 
I am just, I'm not even thinking about this at all, and I'm doing so well. Come on. There we go. The zip lining. Yeah, right now we're trying to scare away this cat. Because this cat is the current thing that is causing the, the cat. How can we scare it away? Where's a pickle? No, a cucumber. They like cu they fear cucumbers. This. this does look good, and I play on a crappy computer. Come on. We need to chase it as far away from here as possible. In the traffic, it is. Wait, grab this. We might need to stab it. Kitty cat, where are you? Oh, oh, oh. I could easily get back inside from here. We need to chase it further away from the tree. Calculating divergence. Oh, insufficient. We need to chase the cat even further away. Alright, let's kill the cat then. We could just kill it. I'm sure the boy will be sad, but, you know, he'll be able to walk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at these sick tricks. Oh, yeah. Where are you, Mr. Whiskers?
Aha. That cat's about to steal that meat. this oh I get it I see what I have to do real quick right, you little I'll be back wait till I get my weapons Just what kill the do? cat. Is there a way to lock the cat in the house? It seems this cat is hell bent on killing this child. off my screwdriver did we kill the cat <laughs> did we kill the cat Act two. Uh, sleep mode deactivated. 2020 beta timeline. Good morning. Wait, are we back? Oh, back into the well. Hmm. The attic looks weird. Something must have happened in this timeline. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> this is why you don't fuck with time. Trust me, science is dangerous. No science fairs for you, Adam. But I'm gonna run away and go to the science fair anyway. I'm gonna be a great scientist. Tomorrow's the big day. Looks what like you do? Adam has been butting heads with his father. What happened between them? Well, his father didn't have to tiptoe around his paraplegic son. I would like my screwdriver back, though. Oh, God. Ah, I made it. Real quick. Nope, nothing in there. Okay. Debris and signs of a fire everywhere. Adam Did burned down the house. I recognize this robot arm. Looks like Adam still hasn't finished the controls. I think Adam's dead. See, this is a half-assed way to do time travel. And I don't mean the story-wise. I mean actual 
events. The robot should have never been programmed to go to sleep. Bloody hell. There we go. Wait, PlayStation. So this happened when he was around. Wait, let me look this up. Wait. Okay. So I have no idea when this happened. But he has a PlayStation 1. So it happened a few years after we went to sleep. And killed the cat. The garage is dilapidated too. But at least the fire didn't reach it. It's that car from before. Time hasn't been kind to it. It's really dark in the basement. We'll need to light the way somehow. Maybe we can find something useful in the spare parts box. So this happened in 97. There we go. Tragedy struck the right household late Tuesday night. Oh fuck, he is dead. When a fire broke out. The neighbors say the fire started in the attic then spread to the rest of the house. Unfortunately, the firefighters were unable to save Thomas Wright, his wife Mary, or their young son. Was this something we did? The matter is still under investigation. Adam is dead no that's impossible i saved him he was supposed to grow up to be a star athlete or a scientist how did this happen it's all because of me i need to put everything back the way it was oh it's too late for that Sign? Great! Let's collect as many as we can! Yeah, like I was saying, it's too late for that. Everything you do is going to result in a different future. You have to stop yourself from going into the past. forward well, that's bright bright light bright light limbo champion here right, gotta go up best for Adam but please stop encouraging him Adam's obsession with science is getting out of hand and I'm afraid he'll hurt himself yesterday he short-circuited the power we almost had a fire sincerely Tom okay could Adam really have started the fire oh no Did he lose control Dag of experiments no I don't believe that well, he didn't know what he was doing, and these things happen. That's why you, if you're someone who's messing with uh, electronics and you aren't a licensed expert, 
Always make sure you turn off the power when you're done. He has more pressing worries, you know, being dead and all. Now we can transmit electricity through the air. Hopefully, this will help us fix everything. We need to turn the lantern on first. Cool. Okay. There's only one way to fix this. Build a time machine and go back in time. Or you know, let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, I forgot I gotta go up. Into the basement. Oh, wait. Times. Another password. Hey, there's a password on the bookmark. Nine, seven, three, five, one, six. Okay. Doesn't it? Make our own little boat. That's not how this works. This bridge still works. Hmm. 
I'm sorry, my robot friend, but you can't fix this. Oh, I missed. Let's try this one more time. Get going. A generator. I hope it works. It worked. The power is back on. We should go back to the living room and take a look around. like the only way through is underwater. The lid is blocking the way down. Oh yeah, his, he's waterproof, so this should be fun to go down here. Because secrets. We can get inside the pipe now, but how do we reach it? Before all that, secrets? Please? No? Okay. Let's hope. Aha! This microwave should do the trick. Should it? To enable temporal transference, we'll also need a cell phone, a radio, and a time chip. I think I saw a cell phone around here somewhere. Tom, I tried not to interfere, but you were supposed to support Adam, to help him. But because of your parenting, he ran away from home in the middle of the night. He's only 12, Tom. Who knows what could happen to him? A lot of weird things. Let's go find this cell phone. Oh, that's a really old cell phone. Cell phone telephone. You win this time, common sense. But yeah, again, children who run away, in my mind, are just stupid. I mean, there's some times when you have to run away from a situation in life, but most of the time, it's just harder. Get our miles in. Hey, the phone still works. It just needed a little tweak. Now we just need to find a radio and make a time chip. We're going to need some real tools now. We should check the rest of the house. We haven't been to the laundry room yet. Oh, 
Okay, I thought I was stuck. That's not gonna work. Neither will that. Okay. All this could have been avoided if someone just learned to love the fact that they lived through a bad situation. I think his parents got divorced. That's why he kind of acted out. There's a huge hole in the floor. It leads right to the laundry room. But we can't move the board because of the box. We need to find a way to stop the box from moving. we go wait isn't the laundry room flooded fit in there.
Oh. A soldering iron. Just what we need to make a time chip. And fix electronics. There we go. A soldering iron could really come in handy. Let there be light. But before that. Check every corner for secrets. Oh. There we go. Zip line. First things first, secrets. Hey, this is the safe from Adam's parents' room. I wonder if the old password still works. Aha, I have five, five, nine, seven. Five, five, nine, one. Me and my bad handwriting. This is a very important contract between Adam and his father, Tom. I, Thomas Wright, hereby promise to respect Adam's passion for science and help him become a brilliant scientist. I, Adam Wright, hereby promise to never ever run away from home to go to a science fair again, especially at night, and also to follow all safety rules. But Dad needs to support me. They sealed the contract with a pinky swear. Oh, I uh, found it. Looks like Adam and his dad found a way to compromise. That compromise didn't save the house. All right, let's continue on. Time chip to the radio. But where are we supposed to find all the stuff we need? That's a good question. We have all kinds of electronics in his room? We can probably find an old radio in the attic. All right. I'm going to put together this time machine. back down all right there we go thank you Come on. 
There we go. The tape recorder still works, but how do we press that red button? I'm making good progress. And I secured the way back. Nope. Dear Thomas, don't worry. I'm glad Adam is writing to me. It's great that he's interested in science, and I'd be more than happy to help. Enthusiasm like his is rare nowadays. I'm sure that as long as Adam doesn't get burned out, He'll grow up to be an outstanding scientist. Sincerely, Aaron Lance. No secret symbol? Okay. There we go. Into the attic. It's gotten really big. Oh, actually, first before that. Adam must have wanted to record something on this tape. But he couldn't do it because it was right protected. Oh. So now I know certain things I have to do in the past. In the next playthrough.
This ball is a real collector's item. Another symbol. Major League official. Alright, onto the right path. carefully examined all the documents and our analysis has determined that the fire was started by rats that chewed through a power cable oh so it wasn't it wasn't his fault the insurance company is under no obligation to compensate you for any damages what you may inherit the house but you will be obligated to repair it the cost of these repairs would be several times the market value of the house sincerely Lawrence Parker of Clark Parker and Partners I wouldn't I would drop that insurance so company it was immediately. Of rats? If I hadn't changed the past, if I hadn't gotten rid of the cat, none of this would have happened. Yep. I'm going to fix everything, Adam. I promise. But that insurance company is scum. Hey, this radio is in great shape. It'll be perfect for setting temporal coordinates. All systems green. We're almost done. We just need one last component. And we'll get that last component in the next episode. So, uh, we learned a few things that the time travel worked. He changed the past, but not getting hurt caused that child's life to change. He was still on track to be a scientist, but he, you know, ended up dying in a fire. So yeah, those things happened. <laughs> but the butterfly effect really hit that kid like a son of a... But either way, uh, we'll continue our little... Science experiment to try to change the past without consequence. In the next episode. So, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. We're going to keep doing this till the end. Tell me in the comment section what you think. Should the robot keep trying or just go to the point where it first arrived, destroy itself, and stop the chain of events that would change Adam's life? Because no matter what he does, this little robot's now a temporal anomaly. It's a complete paradox, and it's going to keep messing up the timeline as long as it continues to exist. Also, tell me in the comment section how you feel about this insurance company that said just because the rats chew through the wires and start the fire, which I think should not disqualify anyone from collecting on their insurance policy, that they weren't going to give her the payout. Yeah, so yeah, I'm angry at them. So again, comment, like, and subscribe. If you made this far in the video, Prime thanks you, and we'll see you next time. Look at this way, bye. Goodbye.